Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to perform your own exfoliating and moisturising manicure at home. We're even going to make our own homemade scrub using coconut oil and sugar. Let me start by showing you how to make the scrub. Got two and a half teaspoons of melted coconut oil and seven teaspoons of sugar. You can use any type of granulated sugar, whether it's brown or white, as long as it's got a nice grit to it. I'm going to pour the coconut oil into the sugar. Give them a mix about. This is a scrub that I've loved making over the years. And in fact, it actually makes wonderful Christmas gifts. I do like to add sometimes some extracts. So mint is one that I've done a lot and it makes lovely shower scrub. But you can use whatever you would like or as we're doing today, just leave it plain simply because I don't have any and you may not. So what I'm looking to make today is actually something that you can make from home, from things that you may have. This is the sort of consistency you're looking for. And to be honest, it's personal preference. So if that's too wet for you, just add some more sugar. And the same, if you feel it's too dry, add some more oil. I'm going to start by showing you what options I'm going to use today for my manicure. First off, my CND Kanga file. This is a 240 grit file which is the perfect grit for natural nails. So if you are finding your own, try and find a 240 grit. That way you'll know it's gonna be nice and gentle on your natural nails. Then I have decanted a small amount of my CND solar oil into a glass dish here, just so I can soak my nails in. You can use whichever you want, but make sure you can get your fingers in. And you need something to push your cuticles back. So here's a wooden stick that you can get from most supermarkets in the nail area and it will be nice and gentle for you. Then we have our homemade scrub that we've just made together. Then you would need a hand cream of your choice. I'm going to use my Slixia. As you can see, it's well used. In fact, there's not much left, but I do have some more coming. And then your final option would be some moisturizing gloves, some cotton gloves. These are perfect if you're going to sit and watch TV afterwards or even better, go to bed. They'll allow that moisturiser to sink in rather than escape on anything else. So let me show you where to begin. I have got some very neglected nails to show you. So I have been desperate to do a manicure, but I knew that I needed to do this video. So I have been leaving them just for you guys. Hopefully it does also show the reality and what we can do with it today. You want to start by filing. So file around your nails just gently, get them to however you would like them. And as I mentioned before, ideally with a 240 grit. If you can't find them, don't worry, grab yourself an emery board and just take it slowly. Don't be going really fast on your nail. That will cause some friction and just cause some damage to your nails. Damage that you won't see, but it can lead to breaks or splits. And sometimes you can find yourself questioning why it has happened. And that could be why. If you've got these dry bits on the side like me that are actually your nail, ever so gently come up a few times. As you can see, I didn't even feel that come off, it's here, <laughs> very nice. But it comes off for you. We are going to scrub later as well, so don't panic. But I just thought I would show you that little tip there. And again, in there. So if I come up gently, just a couple of times. And then there you go, just comes off. And then bring it round. I'm not going to bore you by getting these all the same length and shape. The idea is just to show you the process. 
I'm sure you all know how to file your nails and if you don't, just reach out and I'll give you a hand. Next is going to be a nice oil bath for you. So hopefully you can see in there, just decanted some of my solar oil. And I will actually be putting it back in. It obviously is only myself and I've washed my hands before doing so, so I won't waste any. So I'm going to pop, let me try and show you. Can you see? So my nails are having a nice little bath in the solar oil there. And if you wanted to make it a little bit more luxurious, you could put this over another container that's got warm, warm to hot water in. Don't make it too hot and hurt yourself. But it will just ever so gently warm up the oil and it will feel a little bit more like a spa treatment. So hold that there for a couple of minutes, play around in it and massage it in. So these are my nails after the bath. Don't worry about wiping this off just yet. The oil is going to be fantastic for the rest of your skin. Now you want to come in with your cuticle pusher. Now that your cuticles are a bit softened and ever so gently, just push these round. You don't want to try and do too much here. Just get the excess back and get a nice neat line there. Just makes you feel a bit better when you look at them anyway. Now it's time to test out our homemade scrub. I would suggest having a damp flannel on hand now because once you rub this in, you are going to want to take it off with something. By all means, go and wash your hands as well if you need to. I've got a flannel on the side here ready for me. And my hands have still got the oil on so I haven't taken it off because I'm going to make the most of that and get it rubbed around my hands as well. So, with my spoon, move this out of the way. And then, just start rubbing it in. Get this everywhere and then really focus on your nails around that skin on your cuticles. If I haven't already said, lay a towel down because you're gonna get a bit messy. Now make the most of this. It does feel so lovely. And then either wash it off or wipe it off and then we'll come back. Here I am, all rinsed off and I must say it feels wonderful already. So let's just tidy this scrub up, waste not, want not. I told you it would get messy, but let's leave that there. Next, if you wanted to, you could oil again. I must say, actually, with the scrub that I've made, I don't think you'd need to. I can still feel the oil on my hand in a nice way. You may not even need to moisturise, to be honest. It's all personal preference. But I'm going to use my Slixia because I do love it. Now, I'm just doing the one hand, so I've just removed some there. But rub that in. Really focus on those nails, get it rubbed in. That is actually the aim with Slixia. If you read the instructions, it does tell you to make sure you massage it into your nails. It helps work it down into them. 
And there you go. Nails that are looking so much better. Now I'm going to do my other hand and then I'll come back and talk to you about moisturizing gloves. So here we are with my hand cream all rubbed in. I hopefully you would agree that my nails and cuticles look so much better for a DIY at home manicure. My hands really are so soft. So you do have some options to add on to this. You have your C&D Rescue RXX Daily Keratin Treatment. This would help with your damaged, dry or bendy nails. If you apply this daily for a week, you'll already notice a difference. If you continue for four weeks, most damage will be gone depending on the severity. The next is your strange looking cotton gloves. Now I do swear by these if I have dry hands, I would put my moisturizer on, pop these gloves on and either sit in front of the TV for about 20 minutes or normally what I do is I wear them to bed then you would wake up the next morning, probably with the gloves already off as I always do, but your hands will feel so soft and I promise that you'd feel the difference. I hope this video has been of use for you today and you're about to go and give it a try and have a lovely little pamper at home yourself. If you have any questions regarding the scrub we've made or any products that I've mentioned today, then please let me know. You can contact me in the comments below or find me on my social media platforms. Then we can discuss and help you find a way of getting the nice pamper at home that you deserve. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, subscribe and press the bell button for any notifications of when I upload videos. In the meantime, take care of yourself and I'll see you soon.